Three children? What's the Nora need three children for anyway? Swiss. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to Listen go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. Thirsty, in the beginning, hanging about, all life came in the from land. all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the Faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one All Mother provided. A world of metal. Mm. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with All Mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins. But they would not serve the Faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other. The Metal Devil. And then, the Faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The Faithless abandoned their cities, Forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still, the Faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows. Searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Listen carefully now. Oh, nice. For you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. 
You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's do this. Always happy to take your shards. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey. Luminance of Hold your fruit, Nora, uh, Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> he moves for the on God the to judge the card, not me. On the but eve of your proving, no, the Karja stands with you. Perhaps the Karja have come to make amends. I won't deny that I'm not going to take it. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. Among your braves, we join your You're the friends. only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? 
your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> Were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. <laughs> Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been... Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh. I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I went a hunter, so it was hard, but then now, if you, if that was... Like the salt? Yeah. So what's... And no one... If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it... Everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire like a blade thrust into the sky, reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. 
I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Tell me about Olin. When he's not I've known I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? Everyone's acting like these curt. Let's start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. People always say the festival is better last. Uh, oh! Expecting more tomatoes? Uh, in truth, I I thought they were th throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up, or do anything else that angers these people. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light. It's flame. In honor of my mother, whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. It follows a tent of the warrior of the mother. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. The blessing Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift indeed. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually the the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands, 
and all peoples. Where's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance of art is the 14th King of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the Chosen of the Sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Oh, uh, well, the sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no, no. Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the sun to choose a queen? <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here? Well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it re-emerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend Ereed. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> my apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the sun king. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us. Though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. For the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. What about the bomb? 
Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> I heard he'll ask for a mate blessing if he wins. But not with his girl, but her sister. Imagine. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. I won't let the cards of Faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. Too bad for you that I'm gonna win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. 
But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? It's a grazer! Makes all but one. 
the outcast coming? She was behind me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made of brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! No way but forward now! There! Gotta catch up! Come on now! Stop dragging. Hey, gotta keep going. The outcast. The real trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. Keep at it. Is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. <laughs>
kill them all. No witnesses, no survivors. Descend while we have a chance.
burn it all. Then to your task. As you command. <gasps> to picture there is blasphemy! She should be near her mother! They must have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? <sighs> My clothes. Good. But where's my focus? It's here, okay. Wait. Am I inside the sacred mountain? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. I... I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... Where are they? I'm picking up some kind of signal. It must be the damaged focus. The one I took from that killer. It's close. It looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. Another one of these power cells. But what do I do with it? Nora 
Captain, you built this place. The old ones did. But why? There. With the rest of my things. Excavations and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora savages. But if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. mother is sacred. Lantra fought it, of course, but Jezza sided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift 
from All Mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh! for a dentist scan. The goddess speaks just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? It's a new game plus. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are working for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn.
Our hopes lie with you. Tirso, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So, I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. Why are the ruins of the Metal World forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of Metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare. And most who set out are never heard from again. Was Frost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Frost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was. We buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes, but it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive, and most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No, but you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. Our mother will be out there, girl. She will. So she survives the sins until we are forced. Everything's sharp and looming in the rain. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her.
Your mother be praised. Your I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. <laughs> You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says... mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart, a tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them, but the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. Who is Sona? Sona was... You probably... Her daughter... Was Vol... Yes. So did I. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I should be on my way, Teb. May all mother go with you. Perhaps even the world. Ah, the outcast approaches. Ignore her. Continue the report. There are rumors of a demon loose in the embrace. A, a thing of dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the Embrace. Who is they? Varl and his followers. They tried to stop it, but the demon was too fast, too powerful. Varl's a fool to defend that gate. It is here at Mother's Watch that we will make our stand. So far, eight groups have arrived from Mother's Heart to join the Hymn of Atonement, and more are on the way. Good. All true Nora will lift their voices in song. Is she still here? I don't care. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? 
<sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? Machine like that take control of all those striders. I need to know how that machine took possession of those striders. How does it possess other machines? What's Enough. the secret? you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. But how? This. You did it with this. It's connected. 
adjusting to my focus. But I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. I hope to see you again someday. I want that gate repaired immediately. If you have time, of course. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. I need to find a machine. Test this override device.